Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at the cowl flaps. And I hear you thinking, what are the cowl flaps? Well, that was also the first thing when I heard of them. So I looked it up and I played around with it in Flight Simulator 2020. And you will find the cowl flaps in most propeller um, aircrafts, uh, like this one, which is, uh, I think the Beechcraft uh, GF58, if I'm correct. Uh, and in this aircraft specifically, let me show it here. You will find them uh, here. Uh, shouldn't switch off the engine. And you'll find two buttons here. One's for the left engine, one's for the right engine. Since this uh, aircraft has uh, two propellers, of course. So you can pull this thing down. And then when you go to the outside of the aircraft. Uh, and I see that the other engine has stopped uh, running. So we need to fix that uh, in a few minutes. And when we're gonna go below the aircraft, you will see this piece, right? So let me uh, close it again. Go back, right? Now you can see everything is closed. Now we'll open it again. And now you'll see, I would say, a piece has been pulled down. And this is to, I would say, optimize the airflow in the engine. Uh, for example, you can use it during takeoff or to cool down the engine if you see that the engine gets too hot. Uh, then this will help you reducing the temperature in the engine. Uh, keep in mind that it also has a negative effect since it's, I would say, uh, it, it, it's, I would say, in the direction of going down. You will see that it will, if you look at the airflow, it will hit this piece, so it could affect the airflow a bit. Uh, so you might need to take some corrective actions on that right so that's how it works so let me uh start the other engine again let me see if it's running not yet so now it's stable so let's wait for the uh cht the charlie hotel tango which is the uh, carburetor heating uh temperature Oh, correct oh, sorry yeah the carburetor, the carburetor uh, he heating temperature sometimes it's known as the uh, exhaust cost temperature then you will see uh, echo golf tango I uh, will we need to wait till these temperatures are a little bit the same because else I can't show you uh, what the usage of the uh, functionality is so well once I it's almost there as you can see so both are in line so let's do it like this we're gonna fly with one cow flap open and the other one closed all right so for the right engine it's closed and for the left one it's open so you can see that uh, by now you don't see a lot of differences yet uh, but you can already if you look very closely you will see that the right engine is a little bit uh, I would say warmer compared to the left engine, which is kind of weird because we started the engine later on. That's due to the due to the airflow, right? So if we would take off now, uh, so let's do that. Let's remove the parking brakes and let's go airborne. You will see that that difference will become a little bit bigger. So we're airborne as we speak. And then let's have a look here. And what you see is that the left engine, if you look at the CHT, it's much cooler compared to the right engine, right? So if we would do the same trick now and let's go a little bit higher and then uh, activate the autopilot um, then we will also see that if we would open the box there the temperature will drop of course there are also the buttons like the uh, high rpm uh, this 
and the, the RPM buttons and the, I would say, fuel mixture. Those can also be controlled to lower the, I would say, RPMs in the engine, right? Which also would have a positive effect on the engine temp temperature. So we're going to set the heading now and we're going to set the altitude and then activate the autopilot and then the heading and the altitude. So that at least when we're, I would say, playing around with that button that we're not crashing. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to also move this one open. And then we need to fly a bit because it's, I would say, it will take some time, of course, before it's activating, right? So if we would go outside the aircraft now, you will see that, uh, let's say, both the uh, left and right side now have the uh, cowl flaps open, as you can see. Um, So we're going to reduce this a bit to reduce the RPMs. And you can see, although it's pretty hard to see that it it comes down. It takes some time before it comes down. Believe me, it takes you probably another 15 minutes, probably. And then you will see that they will leverage, right? So uh, maybe it's easier to, I would say, uh, close both of them and then see if it increases uh, faster. Uh, keep in mind that we now reduce the RPMs, so that will take some more time, right? Because the more RPMs, the more heat is generated, so you will see it uh, quicker happening. Although if you look very closely, you see it slowly moving up to the same position as the uh, right engine. I say slowly because it's really slowly. And eventually it should be on the same line. Uh, so this is another option to control, control the temperature in the uh, in the engines, especially of the propeller flights. Uh, that's cool, right? So it's I would say an easy option to do it uh, by using the uh, cowl flaps, which you can find in this case uh, clear to the uh, fuel selectors. So here ends this how to. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.